click on the bell. Once the bell is clicked, you will get all notification. Thank you. Hello everyone, please welcome and join me in G-Steps Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you Gajar Ka Halwa. Typical Punjabi, we call it Gizre La. It's very tasty and very delicious. Please try it and if you like it, please like this video and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Without wasting any time, let's start with the ingredient. To make a tasty and delicious guzrela, we're going to use the carrots. We peeled the carrots and we washed it and then we grated it and I'm going to use 8 cup of grated carrot. Regular milk, it's a vitamin D milk, it's one and a half cup. I'm using one and quarter cup sugar. You can adjust according to your taste. One third cup of desi ghee or clarified butter. It's a raw plain cashews and chopped almonds. I'm going to use two tablespoon each and let's get started. Get a pot and start gas and we're going to keep gas on medium. We're going to bring a clarified butter which is a desi ghee. Open the lid. So one third of the cup. We're going to bring the carrot. We're going to mix it well with our desi ghee and this is the hard work and we're going to keep cooking on medium flame for 10 to 15 minutes until we start seeing that the carrots are nicely cooked. It will help on medium flame, it will uh, release all the water content. So we're going to keep cooking on medium flame and keep stirring occasionally every minute or so because you don't want your carrots to get burned so we're going to cook for 15 minutes cooking for 10 minutes on medium flame this is how it looks right now and we're going to cook additional couple minutes cooking for additional two minutes there is no more water as you can see it's uh, totally dried up and you can see some oil start to ooze out and we're going to bring milk and we're going to mix it well after mixing it well we're going to bring the temperature to low which is simmer and now we're going to cover with the lid and we're going to cook for 15 minutes and every three to four minutes we're going to open the lid and we're going to stir it one thing i like to share with you that when you're cooking it could take you a little longer because the pots we are cooking in it retains all the heat and it the food cooks much faster than the regular pots so the timing could be different so it could take you maybe 20 minutes or it can take you 15 minutes uh, initially as i said we're going to do it for 15 minutes but within 10 minutes our carrots were nicely done but we gave them two more minutes altogether we cooked 12 minutes on medium flame now on the low flame we're going to cook for additional 15 minutes but as three four minutes later we're going to stir it Cooking our gazrela for last 10 minutes on low flame. What we have done, after 5 minutes we opened it and we stir it once. And now it's a 10 minute, now we're going to open it and we're going to stir it one more time. And that I'm going to share with you. Let me close in. This is how it looks right now. Even the pot looks clean at the bottom. If we look it, it looks very clean. There is no water residue. It's all over desi ghee. So now we're going to again flatten it out and we're going to cover with the lid again and we're going to cook additional five more minutes. Cooking our carrots, additional five minutes altogether, 15 minutes with the closed lid. And now we're going to open it. We are still cooking on a low flame. And now we're going to mix it. 
Our carrots are nicely cooked and now we're going to bring sugar. Mix it well. After adding the sugar, if you notice that the sugar has melted and it become like a running water. We're going to bring our gas on high. And now it's really important that we're going to cook it until it really dries out. But keep stirring so it won't get burned. After adding the sugar and cooking on a high gas, this is how the gazella looks now. We're still going to cook it until it's nicely and fully dried up. Now we're going to bring cashews, almonds, and we're going to mix it well. And we're going to keep stirring so it won't get burned and we're going to cook on high gas until it's fully nicely cooked. So after adding uh, cashews and almond, now you keep mashing like this so you break the carrots in half. This is the way you keep doing it. And also it won't get burned. They're going to look nice in texture. It will be the smaller pieces. When you're going to eat gazella, it's going to taste better. So keep mashing. Cooking for an additional four minutes on a high gas. Let me close in. This is how perfectly it looks. The pot is clean. And one thing I wanted to share with you, that's the tip, that if you grab and you just smell it, there is no carrot smell, that means it's fully cooked. It doesn't mean that you don't have any water content, oil start to ooze out, that means it's cooked. If you found that there is a smell of a raw carrot coming still, then you cook it additional few more minutes, cook it on a medium flame. Now we're going to turn off the gas. So we're going to get the serving platter and uh, now and we're going to dish out. Gajar ka halwa. Our gazarela is all ready and uh, you can garnish with some pistachios, more almonds before serving. I hope you like this dish. Please try it. And if you like it, like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and bye-bye.